Hello everyone, Jack from Visual Effects Sites. Um, so, so um, this tutorial in particular, we're focusing on just the motion blur and getting it to look more like it's in that scene. So, color correction and the masking has already been done. As you can see, it's behind that gun. As of there. Um, so what we want to do is first, just find our layer, which is this one. We just want to add any blur. So we'll make it just one pixel wide. Whoa. No, we'll make it just 0 0.1, I forgot how small it is. So it's kind of blending in more rather than looking like a crisp render that it's just doesn't see it anywhere. So that looks a lot better already. But now we just need to make this look a bit more like it's actually blending in with the camera because that was shot at 24 frames per second and you can see the motion blur in the background but that's really sharp so to do that we will use something called pixel motion blur i found it works better than the force one for some reason but if we just grab the pixel motion blur drop it on our clip the settings that it started with are pretty much ready to go but we can lower this down to five and up this up to 10 or 12 if your computer can handle it and um, hiring or lowering this number will create more or less motion blur but roughly 180 is about 24 frames per second anyway and pixel motion blur intelligently works out the direction that it's going in so that effect needs to come afterwards again this is ungraded footage so if you watch it now using pixel motion blur instantly looks way more realistic and cinematic. So the reason to do motion blur in After Effects is just to one, save render times on smaller indie projects and two, you can kind of control the amount afterwards because you, you've seen for yourself, you can go ridiculous as well and you can kind of match the camera more. Whereas if you do it in a render engine, you're stuck with it. So it's a good, it's good practice to do it in post. And also, if you film on a green screen, your shutter speed will probably be high anyway, so you might have to do the same, but you can apply the both motion blur effects to both then and make it perfectly in sync. So yeah, hopefully you found that useful and a bit different. I'll catch you on the next one.